Okay. Today, we will demonstrate how to change an BlackBerry 9700 LCD. First of all, you need to check your phone is like this one, which is BlackBerry 9700. And you can see the screen here is cracked. That's why you need to change your screen. So first of all, turn off the phone. Then pull off the battery cover and then the battery. You also can check the model from this label. Before you change anything, you need to have the tools ready, which you need to have some opening tools like this. And the T5 screwdriver, flat screwdriver for some special purpose. And also, you need to know the BlackBerry 9700 has three different kind of LCDs. So from the back of the LCD, you can see some letters writing at the back. The three types is 001 slash 001. So the first one is 001 slash 001. The second one is 002 slash 001. The third one is 004 slash 001. So before you decide which LCD you, you need to going to buy, you need to check which LCD is, is yours. Or if you already know, you can buy the correct LCD type of yours. So first of all, use the flat screwdriver to open the little black panel on the bottom of the phone. Lift up from two corners. And you can take off the bottom panel. Then use the T5 screwdriver to open the two screws at the bottom. After you take off the two screws at the bottom, you can use the plastic opening tool to open the civil frame here and here. So open it from the bottom using the opening tool. You can hear a little click. That means you already opened it. And slide up from each side. Use a little bit of force but still need to be gentle. After you lift something, you can see you can lift the civil frame. Then try to slide up from here. You can see the back one is lifted. So this is a little civil frame on the front, you can pull it aside. And normally the, uh, this keypad will be in this position, or it will be loose, so I take it off. Now still using the T5 screwdriver, you can see four screws on each corner, unscrew it. Make sure you use the correct tools, otherwise you will damage the screws. After you take the four screws, you can lift up the little flash cable from here.
Be careful, don't damage these cables. This is the audio cables connect to the middle housing. So take off little co protection covers. Now you have the main board LCD. The flux cable already peeled off. So lift up the main board. You can separate from the middle housing and the main board. Now you have some connections at the back of the main board. On the left side, this is the LCD connections. This is the trackpad connections. If you want to change the trackpad, you can uh, take off this. But today we will take off the LCD. Take off the LCD connections. Turn to the front. There's two metal hinge which hold the LCD. You need to use the metal flat screwdriver to open it. There's a slide the metal flat screwdriver inside of the hinge. Pull it up, but make sure you don't damage anything, unless, uh, otherwise you will damage the main board. Then slide, slide in the flat screwdriver from the corner of the LCD. Slide in. Because there's some double size stick underneath, so you need to be use a little bit of force. Sliding from another corner. You can see there's the double side tips here, which you, already, you can take off the, after you uh, peel off the, this one, you can take off the LCD from the main board. So put it, the damage room aside. Check the models. The model of this one is 001 slash triple one. So the one you need to use is the same model which is zero zero one slash triple one. Now you need to install it. So slide slide down the L C D first to the little metal holes at the bottom of the L C D. to make sure the LCD is in position. Then use the flash screwdriver to close the hinge on the top of the main board to make sure the LCD is being held. But to make, uh, in this process, because the LCD you replaced is a brand new one undamaged, so make sure all the force you used is no, not on actually glass or the cables or the frame so be gentle with the installation after you hold down the hinge you can see the LCD is already in the location so turn back connect connect the uh, LCD flux cable to the main floor but before, before that, you need to check there's no dust or moisture on the connections. So we check and connect now. So after connect, take the middle frame, middle housing of the phone. Slide, slide down of the main board. There's two plastic hinge on the bottom. So make sure your main board is under that two plastic hinge. So slide down, press up, press down close to the mid middle housing. Now you need to screw all the four screwdrivers.
after you put in all the four screws, you can start a little bit fast now. So put the battery in to see if the LCD is working properly. So we put the battery in, you can see the red light turns on, hold it for a while, and you, you will see some images on the screen. See all the battery, the loading bar is all there, so the screen is working, everything is fine. Take, us, take off the battery now. Put in the keypad. Before putting the keypad, make sure that there's nothing uh, underneath. So put in the keypad. Press the keypad a little bit, make sure the key is working. Uh, Everything is in position. And now take the metal frame, put it in from the top. And now you can see the side button is a little bit not in the position, so you need to unscrew the screws a little bit to make sure everything is in the position. Okay, we put the side button in the position now. So everything is fine. Keep her. Silver frame. Insert from the top. Close the side. Make sure everything is in position, then put the screw on. The bottom panel, insert in. Press down and close it. Put the battery in. Final test. Now the battery logo is coming out, the loading bar comes out, everything is fine. Now you can peel off the protect, protect film from the screen. You have a brand new screen and the phone is being fixed. Thank you very much.